हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम संपदा कुलकर्णी वेलकम्स यू इन माय चैनल टेक टॉक्स इन दिस वीडियो सीरीज आई एम एक्सप्लेनिंग यू द कंसेप्ट ऑफ ट्री डेटा स्ट्रक्चर फ्रॉम दिस ट्री डेटा स्ट्रक्चर आई एम कवरिंग द टॉपिक ऑफ इन ऑर्डर ट्रैवर्सल ऑफ बाइनरी ट्री बिफोर मूविंग टू द कंटेंट आई वुड लाइक टू रिक्वेस्ट यू टू सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल टेक टॉक्स and keep the bell ringing because ringing bell will give you the notification of all videos all new videos of my channel now let's start with the tree traversals basically there are two ways to traverse the tree they are depth first traversal techniques in this depth first traversal technique we are having three orders or three techniques in which we can traverse the tree as per the depth of the tree will be there they are pre order in order and post order and the another technique is breadth first traversal where the tree is traversed according to level or level order of the tree i am explaining you all these things in detail for your reference i am providing a shortcut key in this right up corner let's move forward for the binary tree traversal where i am explaining you the in order in detail for the in order traversal we supposed to follow the sequence left root node and the right the same sequence i am explaining you so first of all we have to traverse the left subtree then we have to traverse a root node and at the end we have to traverse a right subtree here in order it explains us that we have to uh, we have to process the root in between after left and before right that is in between of left and right that's why the name is given in order traversal here i would like to give you an example simple example where a is a root node b is its left child and c is its right child so when i want to follow the sequence left root node and right so first of all left means we have to follow the same sequence that is first of all traversal of node b after that a root node we have to traverse so that's why i have taken root over here and which one is the root a is a root node so a we supposed to traverse and at the end we have to follow the right that's why right of a root node is nothing but c so that's why we have to follow or we have to process the right child node c but how is going to be happen this is the next question how we have to follow all these things so to follow the sequence of left root node and right the solution is recursive and non recursive traversal algorithms i am explaining you the solved examples of in order binary tree traversal how to perform this traversal i have again al already explained this concept in detail in introduction wala video you can go through that in short i am explaining you before we will start for the traversal make uh, start with the root node and let's check whether the root is having left child or not if it is having step down to left and make it as root and again check whether the root current root is having its left child or not if it is there we will perform this loop continuously till the root every current root is having its left child if it is not then check for a right child make it as root again and again let's check whether this root is having a left child or not so continuously we supposed to follow the sequence that is for first of all left then root node and then the right so now let's start with the example for that the steps are left root right so this is the simple example we'll start with here i am providing you the in order traversal or the output of the in order traversal in this bottom area 
so for this tree let's start with the in order traversal let's start with the root node for a root node first step is to check whether the root is having a left child or not if it is having a left child step down to left here you can see that here uh, in this example or i am showing this figure for your reference to check whether every time whether a current root node is having a left child or right child according to our sequence or not so let's check for a is it having a left child yes it is having a left child so what is our first step is if the left child is present step down to left so that's why i am stepping down to the left and making this b as a root node so now let's make this b as a root node and again let's check for the left child of b here you can see that b is a leaf node so that's why no any left child is present and then after left the we need to process the root node the current root node so which one is the current root node b is a current root node so we need to process it so i have processed it processing it means i am displaying it in the in order traversal or i am outputting it as the order of our tree so b is displayed now after b a root node we need to check for a right child of a current root node current root node is b let's check for a right child of b it is not present so that's why we have done with the node b it's left we have done root node processing is done as well as the right child it is also done we need to go backward to root node a make a as a root node now after a making a as a root node again you can see here we have done with the left sub tree and now it's time to process the root node so now processing of the root node and after that our next step is to check for a right child whether it is having a right child or not here you can see that a is having a right child so that's why step down to the right child now make this c as a root node after making c as a root node now let's check again c is having a left child or not here in this figure you can see that c is again not having a left child as c is a leaf node so no left child is present process the root node and after that let's check for a right child no right child is present and here you can see that we have done with the in order traversal of the given binary tree which is b a c now let's move to the next example example number 2 with the steps left root and right so here the example i have already given and let's start with the in order traversal from the root node so now 10 is a root node after root node for every root node we need to check for a left child whether 10 is having a left child here you can see that 10 is having a left child so step down to 20 and make 20 as a root node again after making 20 as a root node let's check for a left child whether left child is present here you can see that no any left child is present for the root node 20 so after that after left we need to process the root node so we need to process the 20 here in in order traversal and then go forward for the checking of a right child here you can see that the right child is present so here i have already stepped down to 30 as a right child now make 30 as a root node and let's check again for a 30 as a left child or not is available or not yes it is available step down to 50 and make it as a root after making 50 as a root our first step is to check whether 50 is having left child no 50 is not having left child then process 50 let's check for 50 as a right child is it having right child no 50 is not having right child so where we need to go we need to go back to 30 here you can see that we have return back to 30 and make this 30 as a root node and process it because for 30 as a root node we have done with the left sub tree and now it's turn for a root node so now let's process 30 and then check for a right child right child is present now make 60 as a root node 60 as a root node let's check whether 60 is having left child no left child is present process 60 as a root node no right child is present so that's why we need to uh, uh, we need to return back so after returning back make 10 as a root node again now why we are making 10 as a root node because for 30 as a root node we have done with left processing of the root node right as well as for 20 we have already done with left 
20 as a root node processing of a root node and its right subtree now it's turn to make 10 as a root node so that's why i'm making 10 as a root node and let's check for the right subtree because for 10 oh sorry processing is remaining but for 10 you can see that we have done with the left subtree of 10 now it's turn to process the root node so i am processed i have processed it and now let's check for a right subtree 10 is having a right subtree so step down to 40 as a right child make 40 as a root node let's check for a left child no left child is present because 40 is a leaf node process it let's check for a right child again no right child is present and here you can see that we have done with the in order traversal of the given binary tree so i hope you are able to understand how to traverse the tree with this second solved example now let's move forward for third solved example with the steps left root and right here i have given you the complete binary tree as an example and let's solve it to traverse the given tree into in order traversal you can pause this video you can wait till you are solving it by your own if you are confident about the steps which we supposed to follow while traversing the tree in in order if at the end when you will done with the in order traversal you can resume this video to check whether you are correct or you are getting the correct results or not Till then we will finish with the in order traversal. Let's start with the root node 11. Let's check for a left child. It is present. Step down. Let's check for a right, right child again for 22 as a root node. It is present. Step down to 44. Let's check for a left child of 44. No, it's not present. So now let's process the root node which is 44. Let's check for a right child. No, it is also not present. Now here we need to go back to 22 as a root node and process it. After that, let's check for right child of 22. It is present and step down. Making 55 as a root node. Let's check for its left child. No left child is present. Process it. No right child is present. Now where we need to return back. Here you can see that for this subtree where 22 is a root node so this whole subtree we have done with left root node and right now it's done to go back to 11 after going back to 11 you can observe here that for 11 we have done with the left subtree and now it's turn to process the root node so here i have processed the root node and now let's move forward to the right subtree if it is present here you can see that the right subtree is present so that's why move it to the move down to the right child that is 33 for 33 again make it as a root node and let's start with the left child again if it is present so for 33 you can see here the left child is present so that's why move down to the left child make 66 as a current root node and let's check for a left child it is not present processor root node 66 let's check for a right child it is also not present so here we need to return back to 33 to make at it as a root node again here again you can see that for 33 we have done with the left child now it's time to process it and i have processed it in in order traversal displayed it in an in order traversal and now let's check whether 33 is having a right child or not here you can see that 33 is having a right child so that's why move down to the right child make it as root node and left child is not present process it right child is also not present here you can see that you have done with all the nodes as far as all the nodes are present in this original tree and the in order reversal is you can see that 44 22 55 11 66 33 and 77 so in this way our in order traversal is done for the given example now let's move forward for the example 4 with the steps left root and right so this example is somehow skewed binary tree at the right direction and in order traversal will traverse the tree starting from the root node no any left tree 
or left child is present so process the root node and move forward for a right child if it is present yes it is present so step down to the right child 33 and make this as a root node for 33 let's check the left child it is present so that's why step down to left child which is 66 after stepping down to 66 make it as root node and let's check for a left child again for 66 no any left child is present so that's why process the root node 66 and check for a right child here you can see that no any right child is present and we need to return back to 33 to make it as a root node and here I have written back to 33 and I have processed the root node and now it's turn to go for a right child if it is present. It is present so that's why step down to right child 77. After 77 making it as a root we need to check for a left child. No any left child is present so that's why process 77 and let's check for a right child. Yes. Right child is present so that's why I step down to the right child. Now 22 is a root node and after that let's check for a left child of 22. Here you can see that the left child of 22 it is present which is 44 so that's why I step down to 44. Make it as root and let's check again for a left child. No left child is present so that's why I process the root node 44. No right child is present return back to 22 after returning back to 22 process the root node current root node which is 22 and let's check for a right child yes right child is present make 55 as a root node and let's check for a left child no left child is present process 55 no right child is present and here you can see that we have done with the in order traversal for the example number 4 and the in order traversal is 11, 66, 33, then 77, then 44, 22 and 55. In this way we have done with the in order traversal of the given binary tree. Now the next example will give you the or the last example of this video session will give you the again or remind you the steps of left root and right of in order reversal here i have given you the example again if you are confident about the in order reversal of the given binary tree you can pause this video you can traverse the tree and you can check your answer tally your answer with my answer at the end of this example so now i assume that all of you are able to solve the example those who are not able to solve the examples you can continue with the video so now let's start with the in order reversal with root node a let's check for a left child yes it is present step down to the left child now make b as a root node and let's check for a left child here you can see that whether b is having left child yes b is having left child and its left child is d so that's why i step down to the left child d and make it as a root node after that now let's move down to the left child if it is present so yes g is a left child which is present so that's why step down to the g and make it as a root now after making g as a root again let's check for a left child no left child is not present and now after left child the next step is to process the node so that's why processing of the root node is done over here and then let's let's check for a right child of g no any right child is present now after that where it will return back you just think about where it will return back so it will return back to the node d and d will become a root node again so after becoming d as a root node process it and let's check whether d is having a right child or not d is not having right child so that's why we need to return back to the previous level again now where it will go return back it will go to the node b now let's process the b first of all by making b as a root node and now let's check again for b as a if the right child is present or not yes the right child is present step down to the right child and make it as a root node after making e as a root node now first of all let's check 
for a left child of E. It is not present, so that's why process E as a root node. And now let's check for a right child of E. It is also not present. And here we have done with the right subtree of a root node B. After that, we need to return back. So where it will return back? It will not return back to B because we have already done with the B as a root node. B as a root node, its left subtree is also done. The processing of root node is also done and the right subtree is also done. So where it will return back? It will return back to A. And after returning back to A, it will process it as a root node because for A as a root node, we have done with its left sub tree so we have done with its left subtree so that's why we have processed the root node a and now it's turn to check for a right child of a it is present so that's why step down to its right child c make it as root let's check for a left child no left child is present process the root node c and let's check for a right child yes right child is present so that's why step down to the right child which is f make it as root let's check for a left child yes it is present so that's why step down to the left child h now h will be a root node and after that let's check for a left child no left child is present that's why process the root node h check for a right child no right child is present so that's why return back to the previous level where it will return back it will return back to f because we have stepped down from the F to the left child. So we will return back to F and process it. After that for F let's check for a right child. Yes right child is present. So that's why step down to I as a right child. Make it as root. Let's check for the left child not present. Process the root node I. Check for a right child. It is also not present and here we have done with the in order traversal of the given binary tree so the in order traversal of the given binary tree is g d b e a c here we will move to f but left child is present so that's why we'll first of all revisit h then f and at the last i so in this way this is the in order traversal of the given binary tree. How to traverse the binary tree recursively but in in order that I am going to explain you in this video session. So let's start with the example uh, and its algorithm. So the algorithm recursive algorithm I am going to uh, show over in this slide where this recursive algorithm where we have to write down the function uh, the name given by me is in order and we have to or we supposed to pass the root node to this particular function whenever you are going to pass a root node you are making a copy of a root node we have to check very first step is root node is not equal to uh, null if it is not equal to null then if the condition is true you have to enter into the if condition and your first step is recursively call the in order function again by passing its left child as a root node now this left child will become a root node or a copy of a root node and again you have to check whether the root node is not equal to null you have to continue this step to call the in order function recursively by passing a left child you have to continue this process till your left child is not equal to null once it is equal to null it will get exited from the function current function because it is a recursive algorithm you must know the concept of recursive algorithm before moving to this particular uh, video session uh, because it is a very important concept and you must know how the recursive function will get executed and how it makes uh, different copies of the uh, uh, what we can say variables so after this uh, the next step is we need to process the root node after processing it means displaying the root node so after processing of the root node you can move forward to the next step for the next step we have to go for a right child recursively by calling the in order function 
so it will again go back to the same function making the left right child as a root node and then we have to again check whether my current root node is not equal to null if it is not equal to null if the condition is true again for a current root node which was the right child previously for that child let's check whether the left child is present or not i have already explained all these things theoretically in the previous video session uh, with the five different examples so you must be knowing the sequence what we supposed to follow here in this video session i am explaining you how to perform that traversal with the help of programming language or with the help of the algorithm and that's why i am explaining you again a short example in the next slide so let's focus on the steps so what are the steps so here i am i am focusing on the step so first of all you need to check whether the root node is not equal to null if the root node is not equal to null you have to call the function recursively by passing the left child as a parameter till the root is not equal to null current root is not equal to null if it is equal to null process a root node and go forward for the next step where again recursively call the in order function where here now after left root it is a turn to pass a right child so pass a right child to the function and make it as a root let's check whether the current root is not equal to null and again call the left child of a current root node so this process you have to perform recursively and then you can go forward for the uh, uh, result what you will receive from the recursive algorithm now let's move forward for the next slide where i am going to explain you the example here the simple example i have taken in this video session for the next example you can tune with the tech talks and in the next video session i am going to explain you the next another wala example so here a is a root node b is left child b is its left child and c is its right child let's start for the execution of algorithm here I, i have given three boxes because recursively we are going to call a function and for that every time it is going to make a separate copy of all the variables whenever the recursive function is concerned so now let's start this is your in order function call where currently a root node is a here i am going to give you the result or the output of this recursive function call now this is the box where we i am going to work for the root node a when the root node is a so initially whenever we are going to call a function a is a root node and which will get passed to the function in order now let's see what is going to be happen further step by step so my first condition is to check whether the root node is not equal to null no it's not equal to null because root is having the node a my step number 1 is calling a root in, in in order recursive function by passing a left child as a root node so now what will happen let's see so here i am going to moving from or switching from this block to this second block where the in order function is there and now my current root node which was previously a left child the current root node is b here you can see that a is having a its left child b and we are passing this b as a root node or a parameter to the recursive function in order here we are starting again the recursive function which is in order and here we are making a copy of a root node who is having the value node b so now here in this block you can say that the root node is b we are going to treat b as a root node now let's move forward let's check whether the condition is true or false root is not equal to null the condition is true because currently root is having a node b again make a recursive function call to in order function by passing a left child of a root node b which one is the left child of root node it is a null value here you can see that no any left child is present ultimately it is a null value so whenever it is a null value you can see that we are we are moving from this block to the another block by making a copy of root node equal to null 
but if the root node equal to null we are knowing that if the condition is false where we need to go we need to go back to the previous function call and to the next step so let's return back and here we are moving to the next step that is step number 2 its processor root node so which root node you have to process the current copy of a root node you have to process which one is the current root node your current root node is b and you have to process a b here you can see that i have processed the root node b now let's move forward for the next step that is step number 3 in the step number 3 again you have to make a call recursive call to in order function by passing the right child of current root node which one is the right child of current root node here you can see that the right child is not present for a root node b it means that it is a null value let's check how it is going to be executed let's move forward here a root node is null because right child b uh, or a right child of b is not present so that's why it is null and what it will do it will return back to the previous function call or a previous block here in this block it will return back and where it will go it will go to the next statement which one is the next statement is nothing but the completion of this if statement if statement is completed means where it will go it will go to the next statement that is completion of the in order function here you have done the execution of in order function where the root node was b where it will go can you uh, can you imagine where it will go here i am explaining you where it will return back it will return back to the previous function call from this whole block where it will return back it will return back to the previous function call from where you have called this block so from where you have called this block I, I, I am showing you all these things with the help of arrows for the better understanding of this algorithm so from where you have made the call you have made the call from this block where root node was a so it is returning back to the next statement the statement number two is nothing but the processing of the root node so what will be our next step is to process a root node so here you can see over here the in order traversal the result will be having the root node a which is processed or the displaying of a root node after completion of this step where we need to go we need to go to the step number three in the step number three you have to call a function recursively by passing a right child as a root node so which one is the root node currently a is a root node a does a is having the right child here you can see that yes a is having a right child whose name is c now what we need to do we need to call this function recursively by passing a right child as a root node so c is a right child and by passing this c as a uh, root node or a right child as a root node where it will go here you can see that we are moving to the another block where this is the space separately allotted for the recursive function call where root node is nothing but c here you can see that the new copy of a recursive function is there and where root node is c root node is c and let's go forward for the condition whether my root is not equal to null yes the condition is true it means that we have to enter into the if condition and my first step is to call the function recursively by passing its left child as a root node so you can see over here this c is a node where c is not having its left child it means that the c's left child is null so now let's see what is going to be happen it will move to the another block and let's check which one is the root node root node is null as our condition says that root is not equal to null if the condition is false it returns back to the next statement and next statement is to process a root node after processing of a root node it means that it is displaying a current root node which one is the current root node is nothing but c and here you can see that we are displaying a root node c over here after this let's move to the next step in order traversal recursively call calling to the function by passing a right child as a uh, what we can say right child as a root node and let's pass this right child c is right child c is having a no not having a right child it means it is null and 
passing a null value to the function it returns to the next statement and next statement is nothing but the completion of the if statement it after the next statement is the completion of the in order traversal and it will return back from where it was called here it was called from the block where root node was a and it will move to the next statement next statement is nothing but the completion of if and completion of your in order traversal so in this way the recursive function call is going to be used while traversing the algorithm whenever you are moving from a to b and from b to its root node again so this recursive function call helps us to move back to the previous level where it was not possible easily with the a uh, tree data structure because tree data structure is having only the links from parent to child node there are no any links available from child to parent node so to go back from child to parent node this recursive function call helps uh, helps us to move from the down level to the upper level or from child level to the parent level so i am explaining you the solved example for recursive in order binary tree traversal in this video i am explaining you the recursive algorithm for the solving of the example so here the example uh, i am going to mention you so here you can see that this is the example we which we are going to use for the traversal of the tree in in order let's start with the uh, uh, recursive in order traversal here in this bottom portion i am going to uh, show you the in order tree traversal uh, this block every time i am going to show you because every time if you are knowing the concept of recursion every time every uh, function call is having its separate uh, set of variables so that all the things i am going to explain you here in the separate blocks or box so let's start the root node is 10 here because we are starting with the root node which is nothing but 10 so here root node is 10 my first step is to check whether my root is not equal to null the condition is true so my first step is to call the function recursively in order function recursively by passing the left child of root node 10 so which one is the left child of root node which is nothing but 20 so now let's see what i i, I am explaining you so this is the incomplete function call this block is not yet completed this function call is not yet completed i am moving from this function call to another function call so this another block is created by the compiler and here the same function recursively we are going to call but now what we have passed as a parameter the 20 value we have passed as a parameter which is going to become a root node in this particular block so in for this particular block which one is the root node the root node is 20 now let's start again by checking first of all the condition if my root is not equal to null the condition is true because my root is 20 move forward for the step number 1 my step number 1 is again to make a call to function in order recursively by passing the left child of 20 here you can see that what is the left child of 20 it is null no left child is present to the root node 20 so what we have to do we will call a function it will move its control from this function to the another function call but here the um, uh, value which we are going to pass to the function as a parameter which is going to become a root node is null so once we are at the uh, condition root is not equal to null this condition is going to become a false and it will return back from that function call and it will process the root node which is nothing but our next step now let's process a root node after processing of a root node it will get appear in this in order traversal so now let's see what is uh, will be what will be the result so we are processing a root node 20 now let's move forward for the next step that is step number 3 and let's call a function in order recursively by passing a right child of a current root node that is 20 20 is right child we are going to pass as a parameter and will become a root node in another block or in the next block so now let's see how all these things are going to happen so from this uh, till the function is not completed its execution is not completed after keeping this copy as it is the another function uh, recursively will get call 
and here what what is uh, or which node is going to become a root node so root node is 30 now let's start with the first condition whether root is not equal to null yes the condition is true so now let's move to the step number one step number one is again to call a function in order recursively by passing its left child as a parameter so 30 is a root node 30 is left child is 50 and here you can see that i am going to pass this 50 as a parameter to the function here you can see that again as uh, we are we are going to uh, call the function recursively by keeping this function as it is we are making a function call to in order recursively and here now my root node is 50 for this block my root node will be 50 let's check again the condition if my root is not equal to null the condition is true let's call a function call to the left child of a 50 of 50 that is which one is your current root node here you can see that 50 is left child is null there is no any left child is present to 50 so that's why what we supposed to do we will call a function it is nothing but null it will return back to the next statement and what we have to do we have to process a root node so which one is the root node root node is nothing but 50 let's process root node 50 and let's move to the next statement here we supposed to pass a right child of 50 as a parameter so which one is the right child here you can see that no any right child is present it means that the right child is null after passing this 50 as a right child what will happen it is null it will return back to the next statement next statement is nothing but the completion of this if condition and ultimately it will complete the function call as well okay now you can see over here hey, this is the function call which is fully executed now where it will return back so it will return back to the function from where this function was called so uh, this block is generated by calling from the function in order where root node is 30 so where it will return back it will return back to this block here you can see that i am going to explain you all these things with the animation so here you can see that this arrow is showing that this is the function execution is completed and we are returning back from this block to the block where from where we have called the function so now it is returning back and now again 30 will play a role of a root node after returning back where it will go it will go to the next statement next statement is nothing but the processing of a root node so what it will process what it will display it will display 30 as the result so here you can see that in an order traversal we have displayed 30 over here now let's move forward for the next here i am uh, going for the next statement statement number three is nothing but calling of a in order function again recursively by passing 30 is right child so right child of 30 is nothing but here you can see that right child of 30 is nothing but 60 so we are going to pass 60 as a parameter now let's see what is going to be happen now as we are calling this function recursively here you can see that i am calling a another block where my root node is 60 okay you can see over here so he, this is the new block is called by the uh, this block where root node is 30 we have done with its left subtree now it is a turn to go for a right subtree or a right child so now currently my root node is 60 let's check a condition whether my root node is not equal to null yes root node is not equal to null as my root node is 60 let's make a call recursive function call to in order function by passing the left child of 60 here you can see that what is the left child of 60 it is null so it will return back and it will go for the next statement where processing of the node is there what it will process currently we are at this particular block where the root node is 60 so it will process 60 and let's move forward for the next step where next node uh, next function call is nothing but in order function call where we supposed to call uh, the in order function recursively by passing the right child of a current root node that is 60 so right child is of a current root node 60 is nothing but null so what is going to be happen here you can see that uh, null is there so it will return back its next statement is nothing but the completion of the function now can you uh, uh, think about where it will return back after completion of this function call because now this function is completely executed where it will return back 
yes it will return back to the function where we have made a call so where it will return back it will return back to this particular block where uh, we called uh, from the root node 30 and here you can see that after completion of this function call it will return back to the next statement which one is the next statement is nothing but the completion of the if statement where the root node is 30 so now this function call is also completed where it will return back so here you can see that where it will return back from where uh, the 30 was called the when the root node was 20 from the root node was 20 it was called and here we have done with the execution so where it will do where it will go it will return back to the function and now its execution is also completed because here you can see that 20 is right subtree we have done as we have done with the right 20 is right subtree it will it will return back to where it should have to return back to from where this 20 was called so he, here jumping of the function or the cur, uh, control from the recursive function call where root node is 30 to the root node is 20 and here after jumping return back we have done with its completion now where it will go it will return back from where we made the call to 20, 20 uh, from where we made the call to 20 from 10 so it will return back to 10 and it will go for the next statement execution now here you can see that the next statement is nothing but processing of a root node so what it will process currently this is nothing but the active zone active block where the root node is 10 and now let's display 10 over here in this in order traversal I am displaying 10 over here and it will go for the next statement next statement is nothing but calling of function recursively by passing right child of a current root node which one is the right child of a current root node is nothing but 40 so now let's pass 40 to the function call it will create a separate block again where a root node is 40 you can see over here now let's start with the execution of this function the first condition is root is not equal to null yes the condition is true because my root is not equal to null because it is 40 now my first step is to call a function recursively by passing the left child of 40 here you can see that no any left child of 40 is present it is null now if it is null it will return back to the next statement and next statement is nothing but processing of a root node so what it will process it will process a current root node which is nothing but 40 so here you can see that we have processed the root node 40 just uh, return back and go for the next statement which is nothing but in order function uh, calling of in order function where we supposed to pass the right child as a parameter to the function uh, whose right child current root node 40 is right child so here you can see that right child is also null so what it will do it will uh, call a function but the root node is null it will return back to the next statement and next statement is nothing but the completion of the execution so now after this what it will do it as you can see over here the uh, execution of the function is completed and where it should have to return back it should have to return back from where the function was called so it will return back to this particular block here you can see that i have given the animation to show the same thing so it is returning back and uh, it will show you the completion or the complete execution of the function in order where root node was 10 and simultaneously here you can see that we have done with the all the nodes and in order traversal is 20 50 30 60 10 40 so in this way we have traversed the tree with recursion and in in order in this video my topic is non recursive in order binary tree traversal this i am going to explain you where algorithm i am going to explain you basically what is the non recursive algorithm to traverse a tree binary tree in in order so now let's move forward for the non recursive algorithm here i have already ex i have already given a non recursive algorithm which is for in order and i am passing a root node to this algorithm or to this function there are five different steps in which i am going to explain you all the steps one by one and in the next slide i am going to explain you it with the help of example by dry running the code so first first step is to create a stack of data type structure node after creating a stack why to use a stack stack is a data structure which is 
last in first out and this is the property that we are going to use to return back from the lower level to the higher level so if you want to know more about the stack data structure for the same as well i am providing you a shortcut link in this right up corner is nothing but stack data structure so i assume that all of you are knowing the concept of stack data structure and now my step number 2 is to initialize a current node this is a variable i am going to use in throughout my function that is current node and in this step i am initializing this current node to the root after initializing current node to the root we supposed to follow these two steps that is 3.1 and 3.2 with the do while loop we have to perform we have to do both the steps till or while my current node is not equal to null so initially we supposed to go to the function uh, sorry to the while loop do while loop where we have to push the current node onto the stack why i'm supposed to use do while loop because do while loop is unconditional means for the first firstly we are not going to check any condition once it will get executed we are going to check the condition whether the current node is not null if it is not null then we are going to execute both the steps again and that all the steps both the steps will get executed till my current node is not equal to null so now let's start with a root node where root is not null so i am going to push this current node onto the stack and after this we are going to set the current node equal to whatever we have pushed onto the stack its left child the left child of a current node that i am going to assign or making as a new current node this i am going to perform repeatedly because this is the in order traversal and we supposed to traverse the left sub tree first so that's why i'll go down 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 to the left sub tree of my tree till it is not going to become null once it is null i will go forward for the next step again in the next step i am going to check whether it is null or not if it is null then and then only and one more condition we are going to check whether my stack is not empty if both the conditions are true that is my current node is not null sorry my current node is null and my stack is not empty then my first step is to pop the node from the stack and display it whatever top of the stack is there whatever from the content of the stack the top of the stack will get popped from the stack and it will display it here here you can see that here we have done with the left now it's turn to display the root node and now the next time next uh, uh, thing is we are moving to the right as our sequence is left root node and right in the in order so my next step is again we are going to update the current node by the right child of the popped item whatever popped element is there its right child we supposed to assign as a current node we supposed to use as a current node and we are going to return back to the step number 3 again to check whether my current node is not null now my current node is nothing but whatever i have popped in the previous step its right child and if it is not null we again supposed to move to the left 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 of that right child and for that we are going to execute this while loop again till my current node is not equal to null and at the end all these things are going to be happen in hand the first while is for for not null and the another while is for null condition along with the stack is not empty and if this is the condition either condition is false that is if current node is null and my stack is empty then we supposed to indicate that we have done with the in order traversal i know it is difficult to understand theoretically now i am going to explain you the same algorithm practically by dry running the code dry running the algorithm with the one example a simple example in this video so now the same algorithm i have um, written over here for your reference and now let's start with the execution so very first step is to create the stack 
before uh, creating the stack here this is the area where i am going to display you the result of the in order traversal so now first of all create a stack so i have created a stack after that my first step is sorry second step is to initialize the current node as a root node so here you can see that my current node is equal to root is equal to a because my root is nothing but node a so that's why i have initialized it to a after this what is my next step is next step is current node is not equal to null my condition is true it means that i have to push this current node onto the stack so now let's push a onto the stack so i have pushed it now let's move to the next step is whatever the left child of a current node is there that I am going to reinitialize as the current node. So I am updating my current node with the left child of current node. So now here my current node is A's left child is nothing but B. Here you can see that the left child of A is nothing but B. So that's why this B a new value is updated into the current node so now my current node new current node is nothing but b now let's move back to the while where whether my current node is not equal to null the condition is true so it will enter into the while loop and my first step is to push the current node onto the stack so here you can see that i have pushed b onto the stack now again i am updating the current node with whatever the left child is present of the current node is assigned with the new current node so uh, what is the left child of b its left child is null so that's why now my updated current node is nothing but null now let me know whether this condition will be true or false yes this condition will be false because now my current node is equal to null so uh, it will get exited from this while loop and it will enter into the fourth step now fourth step is current node is null and my stack is not empty both the conditions are true here you can see that current node is null and stack is not empty it is having some elements so that's why both conditions are true it will enter into the while loop and it will pop the top of the stack and it will display it so which one is the element present at the top of the stack is nothing but b so now let's pop b and display it here you can see that i have displayed b onto the uh, a result that is in order traversal now the next one is again we are going to update the current node by what we have done with its left we have done with a root node <coughs> sorry and now we are going for a right of a popped item so which one is the popped item it is b here you can see that b is right child is null so now what will be my current node updated value in current node will be null here you can see that my updated current node will be null after this where we need to go we need to go back to the step number three whether my condition will be true or false the condition is false because it is null again it will return back to step number four let's check whether my current node is null and my stack is not empty yes both the conditions are true that's why pop top of the stack and displayed so now what i will pop now i will pop a from a stack and here I am popping it and here you can see that I am displaying it. After displaying it, our next step is again to update the value of current node by putting the right child of the popped item into the current node. So here you can see that A is my popped item and its right child is C. So now I am updating a current node A's right child equal to C that I am going to assign to the current node. So updated value in my current node is nothing but C. Now next step is go back to the step number 3. I will return back to step number 3 to check whether my condition is true or not. Yes, my condition is true because my current node is having value C which is not equal to null. Again enter and push it onto the stack. So now let's push C onto the stack. After that again update the current node by the left child of a current node so my updated value in current node will be null again this condition is going to false and I, I go for a step number four or a next step where my current node is null and my stack is not empty both the conditions are true pop top of the stack and display so what is there in top of the stack it is c pop it from a stack and here display it so i have displayed c go for a next step that is update the value of current node by right child of a popped item 
which one is the popped item it is c c's right child is nothing but null so here you can see that current node is updated with the value null again go to step number 3 let's go back to step number 3 this condition is false the current node is null let's go for a step 4 here you can see that current node is null but my stack is empty now there is no any data available in my stack so that's why this condition is false and if either condition is false this will not enter into the loop and it will go for a next step and here you can see that if my current node is null and my stack is empty then we are done and here you can see that this is nothing but the in order traversal of a given tree that is b a c i hope you must have understood what i want to explain in this in order traversal with the help of non recursive algorithm here i am trying to cover the dry run of the non recursive in order algorithm with the help of example i am applying the steps of this algorithm on this said tree the given binary tree is with us and we have to apply the non recursive algorithm on the given binary tree so now first step is to create a stack so here uh, we are creating a stack so i have created a stack over here what we have to do we have to initialize the current node as root so which one is a root node 10 is a root node so here you can see that my current node is nothing but root is nothing but 10 in our case now you have to follow the step number 3 repeatedly till your current node is not equal to null this condition is true as my current node is not equal to null because it is 10 right now so what you have to do you have to push this current node that is 10 onto the stack so i have pushed 10 onto the stack after this what you have to do you have to update the current node with the left child of a current node so which one is the left child of current node is 20 so now my new current node is nothing but 20 so here you can see that current node is left of 10 is nothing but 20 after this what you have to do you have to go back to check whether your current node is not equal to null no it's not equal to null that's why we have to push the current node onto the stack here you can see that i have pushed 20 onto the stack now let's make the new current node or update a current node with the left child of current node now here left child is null so that's why here you can see that the new current node is left child of 20 is equal to null now you can see that this condition is going to be false so that's why we will move forward for the step number 4 and here you can see that your current node is null and here you can see that current node is null and your stack is not empty as currently your stack is having two values so both the conditions are true so that's why we will enter into the while loop and what we will do we will perform a first operation first step is nothing but popping of a node from a stack and display it so let's pop top of the stack is nothing but 20 and display it so i am displaying the in order traversal over here so my first value is nothing but 20 which i have processed it now what you have to do you have to set the or update the current node again with the popped items right child so which one is the popped item is nothing but 20 its right child is 30 so now your new current node is going to become 30 so here you can see that current node you are updating to the right child of 20 is nothing but 30 so now your current node is 30 you will go back to this while loop your current node is null and stack is not empty yes stack is not empty but my current node is not null it is 30 so this condition is going to false so that's why what we have to do we have to go back to the step number 3 here step number 3 is nothing but as the condition is true my current node is not equal to null the condition is true that's why i am going to push 30 onto the stack so i have pushed 30 onto the stack and then you have to update a current node with the left child of 30 so my current node is going to become 50 again my current node is not equal to null so that's why i am going to push 50 onto the stack so i have pushed 50 onto the stack again reset the current node to the left child of a current node that is nothing but null 
this condition is going to become false we need to move forward for step number 4 as the condition that is current node is equal to null here you can see that as well as my stack is not empty what you have to do you have to perform first of all the pop operation and you have to display it so i have popped 50 and i have displayed it now it's turn to move to the right child of 50 that is popped item so it's null again so what you have to do you have to go back and this condition is true so that's why you have to pop the next item from a stack is nothing but 30 and you have to display it as i have popped it and i have displayed it after this what you have to do again you what you, uh, you have to check for a what the right child of 30 you have to check because my popped item is 30 what is its right child its right child is nothing but 60 and as it is not null you have to return back to step number 3 and you have to check whether the current node is not equal to null condition is true you have to push this current node onto the stack so i have pushed 60 onto the stack let's move to the left child of a current node it's null here you can see that the left child of 60 is null we will go for a step number 4 stack is not empty current node is null both the conditions are true you have to pop top of the stack and display so i have popped 60 and i have displayed it over here now after this again you have to check the right child of the popped item it is also null so that's why your condition is true and you have to pop th 10 that is top of the stack from a stack and you have to display it so i am displaying it so i have displayed here as we have popped 10 from the stack what we have to do we have to uh, go to the right child of the popped item is nothing but 40 so that's why my current node is nothing but 40 and here you have to return back to the step number 3 again as it is not null we have to push it onto the stack so let's push 40 onto the stack now as um, uh, we have to update a current node to the left child of a current node that is 40 it is null so that's why current node is null as the current node is null this condition is going to be false we have to move to the step number four as my current node is null as well as stack is not empty we have to pop top of the stack and display it so let's pop 40 and display it so now this 40 is displayed over here and after that next step is current node is equal to right child of a popped item so 40 is right child is nothing but null so it is going to become null again as here you can see that the current node is null but stack is empty here you can see that no more element is available into the stack so if both the conditions are true uh, if either condition is true you have to move to the next step that is you have to check whether the current node is null and your stack is empty and here you can see that or we can say that we have done with the in order traversal so in order traversal for a given tree is nothing but 20 50 then 30 60 10 and 40 so in this way we have done with the in order traversal of a given binary tree with non recursive algorithm so thank you dear friends i hope you have must understood how to dry run the given algorithm that is non-recursive algorithm for in order reversal for a given binary tree if you like the video and the content please do not forget to give the comment if you are having any query then also you can put your comment into the uh, comment box query into the comment box i will try to solve it here for your reference i am providing a shortcut link for the subscription of my channel tech talks along with the playlist of this tree traversal and here i am also providing a shortcut link for a next video of this video session so thank you all dear friends stay tuned with tech talks happy learning happy data structuring thank you